cultivating corn. I'm nudging this here. Here's the map. I'm going 5.7 mile an hour in the 11th gear. Got to go fast enough to bury the, the weeds that are in the road and throw enough dirt. And even with the auto steer, this is bumpy here, this is old sod. I'm trying to shoot a video and describe. Watch the tire just to make sure I'm not veering too far off. Back here, the rose throwing a decent amount of dirt. And I'll take it up one more gear once it smooths out a little bit right here where the sod ends. So I'll go up to 12th gear. I suppose theoretically there's a speed at which it's, I'm going too fast, but I found this is the only way that, given the state of the weeds, that I can throw enough dirt. Even then I'm going to have to do some hand weeding on certain spots here uh, where the weeds are just too big to get covered up. Earlier in the spring I didn't want to do whole lot of cultivation. I didn't see a whole lot of weeds. I knew they were there, but it was so dry. I think this was the driest year in this county in 130 years since I've been keeping records. And so I was concerned about there not being enough moisture in the ground to get things growing. The real issue becomes on the corners and on the end rows where I can't go fast enough, especially on curves, to throw enough dirt. That's where all the hand weeding is. Okay, well, I gotta put this down. Pause. Let's go take a tour. You can see out here in the main body of the field, I haven't cultivated over here yet. There's a few weeds. It's not too bad. I mean, here's the lambs quarter. The cultivator will get those or it'll bury them. And I wouldn't say 90% of the field looks like this. I row cultivated this once about a week ago, 10 days ago. And eventually the corn will get big enough that it'll canopy and shade the weeds out. Now over here, I just finished this pass and turned around. So I'm throwing enough dirt, you can kind of see, like here, that little lamp's quarter is beat up slash covered, and the corn eventually will canopy. The real challenge becomes down here at the end, or like here, I had to slow down at the end, and this lamb's quarter is in the row, and these suckers are hard to get out. We got a big fruit at some point. I gotta come cut. But when you come down here in the end rows, flies get out here. So you have to run over some corn to turn around, obviously, but I did row cultivate this down here already. But you can see, this is sort of what I'm up against. I don't know if that's going to show up. Flies are out. I got to get out of here quick. Get eaten alive. Oh, welcome to my world. I'm trying to finish this today, Sunday. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But... Oh, I got to add, there's people on YouTube who do a lot better job than I do of explaining this. This is for friends and family. But here's a rope cultivator. I think it's doing a good job. Doing the best I can. These deer flies are pretty nasty, so back in the tractor we go. Bye for now.